Hello, welcome to my tech fan to another filament dryer testing video. This is Creality Space Pi filament dryer and this box is sent to me by the Creality in exchange for the review. Very shortly, why do you need a filament dryer? Well, it depends where do you live and uh, what materials are you using, but uh, every filament absorbs moisture from the air and some filaments are more sensitive to this and this will result uh, negative print quality. More sensitive to this are PTG, TPU and the worst in this case is the nylon. With the nylon, even the printing I'm doing from the filament dryer. Uh, let's see a few specifications of this uh, filament dryer. It has really nice design, aesthetic design, we will see the functionality. It has adjustable temperatures between 45 and 70 degrees Celsius, LCD touchscreen with the real-time humidity and temperatures on the display, the power consumption is 145 watts, which is bigger compared to some dryers I tested earlier. PTC heating for more efficient and steady temperatures. And one interesting quote from their website, uh, they said most dryers has uneven drying. I had that video where I compared six filament dryers and I measured the temperature changes in one hour. And actually the worst in this case was the Creality's first generation filament dryers, where we have these big waves it just turn on off the heater after every three or four minutes, which will result some peaks in the temperature. Uh, I'm sure that it is improved in this version, but we will see soon. This is content of the package. This is the main unit, the power cable, which goes here on the back side, user manual, and Teflon tube. I measured the inner diameter is approximately 2.4 millimeters and the length is 60 centimeters. Very important part of unboxing. Now I already mentioned that from the aesthetic look this really looks nice. But from functionality I can see space for the improvement. We have only one exit for the filament and uh, you should use this Teflon tube. Even if you don't want to use it, put some shorter one here, because this rubber may result quite big friction between the rubber and the filament. There is no hole for the moisture to exit. Inside we have these rollers on the ball bearings, and I already measured the maximum width of the spool is 77 millimeters approximately. It could rotate a little bit better, but it will be fine. And with 200 mm spool, we have approximately 10 or 12 mm space inside. I cannot see any dedicated space for the silica gel, but maybe we can place one inside the spool. Just pay attention that it will not fall out. And I can see properly the air circulates. Uh, we have two holes and I think there is some kind of sensor. And it circulates and it will result more equal drying of the filament. The power cable is 1.2 meters long, which is a small problem in my case, because I need a power source now near the dryer. It turns on in standby position. Let's check the display. Long press. It's on. This is the current temperature and humidity. This is the set value for this material. We have some preset materials, but uh, this is PA, polyamide. It should be 70 degrees Celsius if this is the maximum for this filament dryer. Let's try to change that. Here I can change the preset materials. Okay, now it changed to 70 degrees Celsius, which is the maximum for this filament dryer. Nylon requires this temperature. This is the countdown time, and it changes by one hour. It could be quieter. Let's measure the noise. From exactly half meter distance, approximately 42.1 decibels. On my techfun.com website I have a page where I'm collecting this data so you can compare the noise or drying capabilities with other filament dryers. Now if you are not new on this channel you know that I like to measure things. And I have this experiment which I can repeat with every filament dryer. It is not perfectly comparable with the drying of the filament but at least we have some data which we can compare. I have this sponge for the soldering tip cleaning and I will add exactly 2 milliliters of water and I measure the weight because it is more accurate. I will place into filament dryer and then I will measure the mass after half hours and after one hour. Actually on my workplace we are preparing some experiment. I want to find out if uh, we are able to dry the nylon on 70 degrees Celsius and, and what time is needed to dry this nylon. 
This experiment will be published in the scientific article, but there will be some short summary on my channel too. This will be the position of the sponge. I try to insert the cables through this hole for the filament. Okay. This is DHT22 humidity and temperature sensor and I try to place it approximately in the center of this filament dryer. And I will collect the data with Arduino Uno and my computer, but also I can follow the current temperature and humidity on this display. This is the weight of the dry sponge. And then I'm adding 2 milliliters of water. And the sponge goes to the filament dryer. Zeroing the time and starting the heating. The temperature is set to 70 degrees Celsius and I started collecting the data, but also I can see the current temperature and the humidity on this display. Current with 26 degrees Celsius and 50% humidity. Probably it will stuck inside because it doesn't have a hole. According to their sensor, after 6 minutes I reached the 70 degrees Celsius. According to mine it is 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, difference is probably because this is measuring the temperature of the circulating air and mine is measuring the air somewhere in the center of this filament dryer. For the relative humidity the difference is smaller according to their sensor 30% and according to mine 35. But of course the sensors are on different location. It looks like the temperature stabilizes around 64-65 degrees Celsius inside. I don't think it will go higher because according to its own sensor it is 70 degrees Celsius. Let's measure the sponge after 30 minutes. Zero point nine six six grams. So now we'll open it for one hour measuring. So the temperature according to its own sensor, 70 degrees Celsius and 15% relative humidity. According to my sensor, 65 degrees Celsius and 12.6% relative humidity. Time for the measuring. Oh, <laughs> completely dry. Even drier than the start phase, so probably it had some relative humidity from the air. 0.627 grams. I will turn it off now. But I will collect the data maybe 10 more minutes to have some cooling time info. That would be it. After 10 minutes the temperature dropped down to 49 degrees Celsius, but I will stop collecting the data and I can process the information. And this is the data collected by Arduino Uno. Let's check the temperatures in function of time. And we can see approximately after 10 minutes it was very close to its maximum. 65 degrees Celsius according to my sensor and actually 70 degrees Celsius according to their sensor. Here it was open for 30 minute measuring so that's why we can see some small temperature drop and here one hour measuring and this is some cooling data. About the relative humidity, <laughs> interesting on the start I could see a very big peak here and somehow the moisture get out from the filament I'm not sure how because I didn't open it and it was slowly dropping down. Here I open it for 30 minute measuring. I let out quite a lot of moisture and I, it continued with the drying and it was disabled here. This is the result of the sponge drying test and here I can see bigger value than 100%. Probably it has some moisture from the air before the measuring. And this is uh, the removed water after half hours. And actually I checked my data. This is the best value so far. Of course the environment temperature was the highest, usually it is 22-24, but even then this is very impressive. So this could be a great filament dryer, pity that it is loud for my taste. Quick conclusions for the end. Really decent filament dryer, huge improvement compared to their previous version. Now the maximum temperature which I measured was 65 degrees Celsius, but I measured it somewhere in the center of this uh, filament dryer. I also measured the temperature of the air which exit here was 70 degrees Celsius or even a little bit more, but that air circulates in this direction and until it reached the other side it may cool down a little bit resulting a little bit unequal drying. I would like to see more and more that functionality of the dryers that they can rotate the spool during the drying. Of course during the printing it will rotate because it's unrolling, but uh, it would be very good to have more equal drying if you dry on nylon 12 hours or something like that. Now also a message to all Chinese companies, quiet fans do exist. <laughs> okay, it is not too loud, but uh, the only noise I can hear from it is that fan. And I know that it can be much quieter because if I dry a nylon 12 hours or something like that in quiet room, it will be quite annoying to listen this fan. 
it would be good to have at least two exits for the filament. We have only this one, but it would be good to have one to the side, maybe in this direction. And also I think the ventilation holes would be useful on the top. Well, this would be it from my side. I will add this data to my website about the noise and sponge drying capabilities. And also I hope I will finish maybe in two or three weeks that experiment to see if the 70 degrees Celsius is enough for drying of the nylon and how long we have to dry it. And I hope you will subscribe and follow me to that video too. Until that, thank you for watching and happy drying and printing.